Hi, today we are going to be making words using letters to practice our spelling words in the eight word family. You will need some small paper, either post-it notes or little papers you've cut. You can use markers or your pencil, crayons, um, something to write with um, so you can practice writing the words as we make them. Before we get started, though, I would like to talk to you a minute for a minute about vowels and the sounds that vowels make. Today we're going to be working on the long sound for this vowel, the letter A. A, we already know, makes the short sound A ah, in words like cat or man. We can hear that A ah sound in the middle of the word. But A can also make a long A sound, which sounds like A, like in play, or A like in rain. So this week, the word family we're working on is eight. And to make that word family, we do need a T. That makes this um, word at. But to make the A make the long sound, we have to add another vowel. It's the E. But the E is going to be silent or quiet. You don't hear it. What it does is kind of signal us as readers to know that the A, that E at the end works with this A. The E kind of jumps over this consonant T and it signals the A to make the long sound A instead of A. Ah. So when we have the E here, this is eight. Without the E, it would be at. So today we're going to practice doing um, that very thing of using that E to make the A say eight in the words we're making. You will need the following letters to make the words on our spelling list this week. You're going to need two vowels, the A and the E we were just talking about. You're going to need some short letters, C, R, and S, some tall letters, D, H, L, K. You'll need two T's. And you'll need two letters that have a tail, the G and the P. So go ahead and pause the video if you need to make those letters before we get started. All right, the first word we're going to make is the word eight. So you're going to need that A. I can hear it when I say the word eight. And you're going to need a T. Now, we already talked about that that is actually the word at. If we want the A to make the long sound, it needs another vowel to help it. It needs that E at the end. It's what we call the silent E or the magic E. I've even heard it called the bossy E, the amazing E. I'm going to put this E right here that looks pretty amazing. I drew it with a slash through it because that reminds me of like our mute that is on sometimes in Zoom. When we are being quiet and not talking, you have your mute on. So it's like this letter E has its mute on, <laughs> but with it there, it tells us that the A is going to say A and not A. Ah. So that's eight. The next word is the word date, like on the calendar. What is the date? D, eight. So I know the rest stays the same. I just need another letter in the front. So I'm going to put the D. And that reminds me, I did not write those down. So I'm going to write those down, both those words. The first one was eight. Let me scoot this over and I can write it here. A. -t. And that way we can use this card to practice. That was our first word. And the word we just made was the word date. So we're going to need a D. Oh, I like to make the consonants in blue. <laughs> D. A. T. And then the silent E. All right, so we have two words so far. Eight and date. All right, the next word on our list is the word gate. G. G, G. I know the sound for G is the letter G. So 
So now I have the word gate. That E is still signaling the A to make the A sound. So if I were to write gate, I have a G with the tail coming down, the A, T, and E. Gate. All right, the next word is the word hate. <sighs> hate. So I need to change out the G and make an H. Now, without that E in the end, that would be the word hat. But that E is making the A make the long sound. So if I was to write hate, I need the H, A, T, and E. Hate. All right, the next word is late. So I need to change the beginning sound again. All these are rhyming. We're just changing that first letter to change the word to late. So I need a L, A, T. And that E at the end, that makes the A say A, late. All right, the next word is the word rate. So I need to change that out, put an R. Now without it, it would be rat, but with the E, it makes the A say A, rate. Let's write rate, er, a, t, and the silent e. All right, rate. The next word is the word plate. Plate. I hear a blend at the beginning. That means there's two consonants working together. I have a p. And the L, plate, plate. So when I write that, I need to be careful to make that P how it is here. And it with the tail going down, P, and the L is tall, pull, A, T. All right, plate. Our next word has another blend at the beginning. It's the word skate, sk eight. So you really have to slow it down to hear those two letters. So s, oh, I hear the S, sk eight. So I don't need that L anymore. I'm going to need that K, sk eight, skate. I'll write that. I need an S. And our K for the blend. A, T, and the E, skate. The last word that's using the eight family on our list is another blend at the beginning is the word state. St, state. So I don't need that K anymore. You're going to need... The T, it's an ST blend. St, eight, state. It's hard to hear, it goes kind of quick. <laughs> ST blend, and you still need a, another T, and an E, state. All right, so those are all the words from this week's list that have the long A with a silent E pattern, eight. You should have now some cards where you can practice now reading these words now that we've written them. And that's good practice too because you need to recognize these words in print when they have that silent E. So let's start with this one. Eight, eight. And how about this word? Late. Late. G eight. Gate. And eight. Hate. R 
great. D eight date. And now we have the ones with the blends. Plate. Sk eight skate and st eight state. I hope you had fun making words with the magic silent E and just keep practicing and you'll get to where you're reading these words just as fast as you were reading the words with just the short vowel sound.